So, there's going to be a monkey's tour. Right? Right? You should be happy about that? Not really. Because from a Tumblr user's point of view, it was a big ball of excitement. First, Mike made a Facebook update saying, we may be coming to your town, and everyone is speculating, this is mean he's going to do more solo dates in the US, which was four date stint in the UK. Mm -hmm. And others are like, no, he wouldn't use a monkey's line for his solo stuff. I mean, we know how he is about the monkeys. Keep it in the past. Keep it kind of separate. So why would he be mentioning that? Tour? 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 No, excitement. And then the monkeys Facebook page mentioned something about stay tuned tomorrow for an announcement. Gosh, I look like an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um I'm trying to keep this serious, I'm not doing a very good job, am I? And then um and then the next day, it was past midnight. At least in my time zone, it was past midnight. And Mike made a Facebook page. Started off talking about gazpacho, but then ended up being an announcement that he is indeed doing a 12-day tour with Mickey and Peter. And then, of course, later on Rolling Stone, the website for that mentioned things, and then the Facebook page kind of updated. And so, yay, there's all these announcements. And everyone on Tumblr was just in this big hype. Like, come on, what's it gonna be? You know, excitement. We couldn't calm down. What? And, <laughs> and then, of course, tour was what it was. And everyone was like, are, are they coming to my town? Are they going to skip me? 12 dates? Really? Why? You know, that kind of a thing. But then, of course, after we got the official Facebook monkeys reveal. They are going on tour. Some of us who are both Facebook and Tumblr users, not exactly me, but the ones that are pointed this out to us, but the people on Facebook aren't all that happy. There are a lot of negative comments about their choice as to why they are going to go on tour now. And it's mostly directed at Mike, who gets crap no matter what he decides to do. I mean, for example, not showing up to the New York Memorial for Davy, which has its reasons because think about it, if he would have shown up there, that would have been the first time the three of them would have actually been seen in a room in public since the 90s. It would have became about that Sorry, I can't get my hand motions into the iPod screen. <laughs> Instead of a bow, baby. But, um, people just get mad at Mike all the time for whatever he does. And now they're mad at him for deciding only since Davy died is it worth it getting back together. Which, in some ways, I do see Davy's death as the catalyst. But at the same time, I had heard there might have been some rumors of all four of them getting together anyways. So maybe it isn't the case? I don't really know. I don't know what goes on between the monkeys, you know? I mean, only the monkeys know what kind of goes on between them as a four. Something, you know? In some ways, I can kind of understand why um, some Monkeys fans might just be mad. Because at first, I was thinking, when we were speculating, is the tour, is it a tour? I kind of thought, isn't this a little soon for them to like be like, hey, we can do this without Davy? Because Davy had been involved in every single tour that was Monkeys related. I mean, from the very first concerts in 66 in Hawaii and then of course you had all the times that they were the monkeys before they broke up and then you had the Dolan's Jones Boys and Heart stuff in the 70s and then in the 80s I mean the reunion stuff and even this rarely known tour that happened between just him and Peter in Australia in 86 
I mean, Davey was involved in all of this stuff. And, and apparently, I, didn't, I wouldn't have known this before until, like, recently. Davey was really contr in control of the 2011 tour. That was him. A lot of it. And so, it seemed almost soon to move on. But then I got some perspective as to why Mike is doing this now. If you read the Rolling Stone article, there's a bit of an interview with him. And at the very end, he was saying that he feels that this is kind of the end for him, in a way. Like, he's suddenly been forced to deal with his own morality. Or morality. Mortality. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh, my bad. But, I mean... That is kind of true. I mean, first off, Davy passing was unexpected. I mean, even apparently, I don't know how true this is, I forget the source. But apparently, Davy had, like, gotten a health exam, like, a few weeks before he passed away. And it was said his heart was perfectly fine, but yet he died with a heart attack. You know? That kind of a thing. And then you have things like... He was having a lot of troubles with his eyesight last year. I mean, that could be pretty bad. He's recently dealing with a divorce. I mean, that can alter your perspectives on things. That was one um, point that had been brought up by um, the Naked Persimmon blog. And um, another thing is, think about Peter. We actually honestly thought that he would have been the first to go with the whole cancer scare that was going on a few years ago. I mean, it does seem like we gotta do this now. What other choice do we have for me to reunite with you guys kind of thing going through Mike's head probably. I mean, who knows what goes through his head. Like I said, he opened up his post about the announcement talking about a story with Gaspacho. I mean, it's hard to get through the guy's head. But, um, I mean, if you're mad at Mike for picking now to do a tour, you really shouldn't be, because he has his reasons for doing it, okay? It's not because he didn't like Davey now that he's gone out of the picture, he can do this, or whatever. It's because he thinks that there might not be another chance, and... I don't get why all you Facebook people are so angry about it. Give the guy a break. You yell at him for everything he does. Just be happy the monkeys are even doing this at all. And we have a tour to be going to. Because we might not even be.